Hi, I am just running errands and so forth today and just have all sorts of weird things to say. So I thought I'd just jump in here and have you join me on my running around and letting you know everything that's going on. So first of all, I have to run in for my B12 shot. And funny thing is, is my daughter also just found out that she needs B12 shots too. For some reason, we cannot hold on to B12. Um, and to get them through pills, we just have to take so much. So we have to get injections every month, which is really weird. And then she found out from her doctor that if you can't, you know, hold on to B12 in your body, that vitamin, then you obviously have trouble probably with other things. So she had a whole like mineral panel done and she's really low on iron. She's like one notch above the you know, too low. So she's, you know, getting low on iron. So now I think I'm, I'm going to have to do that too. So I'm going in there. I'm going to ask about that. I'm going to get my B12 shot and then be on my way. I have a return at Sephora and oh, just all sorts of weird stuff to do. So I thought that I would, um, you know, have you join me if you don't mind. Uh, plus I want to tell you all about a trip that we took a little quick one to see my dad and all kinds of things. So stay tuned. So I did that, got that taken care of. It's getting really annoying though to have to go in every single month for a shot. It feels like it's every week. I don't know why, but they just come really fast for me. <laughs> so it's a bit crazy, but like I say, my daughter has to do it too. So anyway, um, the doctor is going to look into possibilities of what else to test for. I think I might need some micronutrient testing done or something like that just to make sure that nothing else is missing. Um, yeah because who knew about the B12? I could have been deficient forever and didn't even know. Uh, anyway, so there's that. And now I am headed over to Sephora because I have a return. My um, Shawnee Darden um, eye cream that I love, 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 love. This is probably like my third or fourth bottle of it. It kind of goes fast. Um, but anyway, I just adore it. I bought a new one and um, I just, you know, I squeeze squeeze pump 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 and nothing is coming out so I've got a new one I mean I need to re replace it with a newer one that actually works so that's where I'm headed now for that um, and then I have to go to an eye doctor place because I have a glasses problem that I I'll talk about it when we get there okay on the way to Sephora I stopped at my eye doctor um, I got a new prescription for glasses uh, five or six months ago and still have not found any frames I like and I still don't know what I want and so forth and so I've just been wearing my old lenses and my old frames whatever it's good enough I barely changed so anyway but I really wanted you know a new pair of glasses you know anyway so what I was wanting was something kind of lighter I still like kind of a metal frame um like a matte metal or something very lightweight um, just sort of more to blend into with my face rather than like the ones I basically always have with are you know, darker, I already have that. So I've been searching and searching for something that looks decent on me. I think I found something finally, you know, six months later. So I'm going, I took pictures of myself in them and I'm going to show, um, you know, my daughters, my sister, my husband, see what they think and probably then just go ahead and order them. I had the people, you know, measure and do all that stuff so I could just call and say, yeah, let's go for it. Um, so hopefully, you know, they'll also agree that they look decent, which I'm sure they will. Um, and, uh, that's my plan. So I'm going to possibly get my new glasses made and they say they're about two weeks out till when they can get them to me. So there's that. And, um, let's see, I of course stopped on my way to Sephora. I'm here at the mall and I'm going to stop into home goods because I love to stop in there when the seasons start to change because they get all sorts of really neat new stuff. So I'm going to pop in there real quick first. So. Yeah, let's go there. All I ended up with was a $10 puzzle. So I returned the Shawnee Darden eye cream um, because we could not get it to work and they didn't have any more at the moment. So I'll just have to deal with that a little bit later, another place or whatever. Um, but I did get to 
get a sample scent thing of the new Skylar um, perfume, Coconut Cove. It sounded so summery and so good, but some of the summery type fragrances just sound, smell too much like, like sun lotion or whatever, tanning lotion or something. Um, yeah, this is good. I really like it, but it's definitely summer in a bottle, like summer at the beach, a tropical beach. Definitely very coconutty, but there's floral in there and there's a little bit of sweetness too. So it's really, really good. I might have to pick up some of that stuff. Then I also got this when I checked out, um, this is happening. So it's coming up guys. We'll have to see if there's something we need. So about a week ago, Claire and Gracie were here. They came up from North Carolina and they were with us for about 10, 11 days, something like that. So during that time, um, the girls, just myself, um, both daughters and Gracie, all took a road trip to go see my dad. So here's just a little snippet of how much fun that was. <laughs> and uh, we had quite the bad weather, but this was the good day to go and we thought we'd have it all worked out just fine and we did make it just fine, but boy, was it kind of, um crazy driving at one point in time. And then when we got home, wait till you see what it was like. <laughs> so here's that. Coffee. Bag of choice today for the weather. Longchamp, it's the small. It's not the giant tote, it's just a smaller tote and black the Neo, which I really like because it's the, I like the same color leather as the nylon and I don't have a big logo, which I like, so good. Are you ready to go see Pop Pop? Yeah. Gracie, are you ready to go see Pop Pop? We're going to go any minute. We're just getting it loaded up, okay? Hold on. Got the car running. It's raining. I'm ready when you guys are. Got my coffee and my water. Got my bag hanging from this hook. Grace is gonna be there. One daughter there, my coat here, the other daughter in the passenger seat, and me driving. And this one's excited. Yeah. Light shining in your face, baby. There we go. Oh, it's so early. We stopped at our regular stop here, Fair Oaks Farm. The girls are taking Gracie to the dog park. They have like a dog park rest thing. Thank good goodness it's not pouring right now. And I am getting gas right now. That's that. So as soon as I fill up the tank, um, I'm gonna park up there, run in and go to the bathroom. And we're on our road and it'll be another like maybe 30, 45 minutes, I think. Close, maybe close, a little bit closer to an hour. I don't know. I need to call my dad too, to let him know where we are. Um, but things are going well. It's been rainy and foggy and miserable and bad, you know, being able to see, but we've handled it well so far. So yeah, it's all going. Oh, there's Mama. There's Mama. There she is. Got some snacks. All right. Snacks. Okay, we did all that. Now we're on the road again, and I need to call Dad as I head out. 
Um, this is what a rainy day does to your hair. Okay. Um, we are in the town that my dad lives in now and we are running, my daughters just ran into Walmart. So we're in the Walmart parking lot right now. And I'm sitting in the back here with Gray Gray. There she is, little Gracie girl. Say hellos. Hellos. Yeah. <laughs> she, um, you know, was freaking out when her auntie and her mama left. So I'm sitting back here with her and we're having a good old sit while they run in to grab a few things that um, my dad wanted. Then we're gonna stop by and get him something to eat for lunch that he wants and then bring it to him. So, and then I have a ton of groceries in the back I've gotta give to him too, which we'll do probably after we eat. We'll do lunch and greetings and stuff and then I'll go get the groceries. The place has like a big grocery cart that you can borrow. It's kind of nice. We made it, Gracie girl. We're here. Let's go see Pop Pop. I just found out that it's supposed to be ice raining in my area when we get back home. So I gotta work on figuring that out. Anyway, we're here. So we did that. We are leaving now and heading back home because we're expecting ice. Ice rain, um, snow, all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be a kind of a creepy trip, but we're heading back now so that we can get back safely. windy um it's really bad visibility it's like raining weird it's snowing and ice raining in the town you know back home where we're headed um oh my gosh it's like an ice cold wind and my car wants to be blown over into the trucks and the trucks want to be blown over into me and yeah it's not good visibility it's not a great trip back but you know we're singing songs um we got a playlist going it's pretty cool and uh Keeping it real, just getting home one mile at a time. There's my Gracie. Yeah, she's a good girl. She loves seeing her pop pop. Yeah. So it was a really good visit in that we got to bring him things. We got to see him, which was great. Spend some time. Uh, we watched some news, found out that um, Ukraine has been invaded. That wasn't great. Um, discussed that for a bit, showed him some pictures that we'd found at home and we brought him his old yearbook and we saw some pictures of him in there. So that was kind of fun. Um, just doing little things like that, just being with him and brought him the lunch he was wanting and stuff. So it was, it was a good, it was really good. And we had to hit the road. The, the trick is to get out of my town, you know, after to not get into the rush hour and to be able to get back in time to avoid the rush hour again. So and being that it's a little over three hours each way, you know, it's kind of tricky, but he gets tired anyway. So there's no real point in, you know, spending that much more time. So try to go more often, even though it's a short visit, that's, that's works well for us. So, um, anyway, this time we all could go, including little Gracie Grace. So that was really good. Um, but yeah, quite the day with the weather. <sighs> Didn't pick the best traveling day that way, you know, that way, but this is one that worked best for everyone's work schedules and so forth. So. That's what we did. So soon after we got home, we made it home just fine. Um, 
the driveway was very, very slippery by the time we got home because it was freezing rain like crazy, but we made it home just fine. And a few minutes after that, my husband just pulled in the driveway and got into the garage. He'd been driving back from Wisconsin and this is his car covered in ice. Here we are. There should be quite a few spring things happening here, I think. I look forward to it. Oh, so pretty. The waxed amaryllis bulbs I got for Christmas, um, they're blooming again. One of them is. It's crazy. So just finished that, which is great. Um, I'm on my way home now, finally. It seems like I was out forever and ever, but I wasn't. Anyway, let's see. You saw the trip. You saw pretty much what I did today. Um, other stuff that's been happening is I'm still working on the garnet ring situation. Um, we had our gutters put on. Um, so those are completed. You know, the gutters and the roof and the copper tops to those windows and all that stuff. That's finished. Um, they still need to work on skylights. And then we need to have our trim painted on the outside of our house and do a whole bunch of yard work because the trucks and the people and the guys during this winter weather have they, they just made a giant mess of our yard. So we have to deal with that too. So those things are happening. Oh, bathroom project. Um, I am not gonna go with the woman who uh, came over, love her to pieces. She's very, very sweet. However, I just don't wanna spend $75,000 to redo my bathroom. I don't. My husband says, go ahead, let's just do it. Let's just get it done. And I'm, you know, if, if that's what you want, I'm like, no, I don't think that's what I want. So I think that I'm going to be trying to figure out a new plan and doing a lot of it myself. And then he wants to do some of the work because he likes to do that kind of thing. And then I'll hire people to do the other parts. And I don't know what it'll end up looking like, but I, I, yeah, it's just not worth that much to me. It's just crazy. So anyway, that's my plan. That's what's happening. Uh, thanks for coming along with me. I always appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.